Hi, this is JP Morgan, and today's Slanted Lens lesson is how to shoot a bottle. We photographed a woman alone holding a bottle on a green backdrop. That bottle in her hand is kind of dark and not interesting. Today, we're going to show you how to photograph that bottle on its own to be stripped into her hand that has life and interest. So the reason we're going to do this is when someone holds a bottle in their hand, there's no light in the bottle. You can't light it correctly. It's very difficult to do. But when you shoot it alone, you can get a little light behind it and make the bottle look like it's alive. The product is more interesting. The first thing we need is a black background. The reason is, is we want the black to reflect into both sides of the bottle so that we have a little black on the sides in the background and then some nice light in the middle. It's really important that the bottle is not sitting on a tabletop or anything that will reflect into the glass. So what we do is we take a one by and we cut it in half. So now we have a one by one by that we can suspend by drilling a hole through it. Then in that hole, we will suspend that into our C-stand. So at this point, we just really need a bottle to get into our shot. You know, this really isn't that difficult if you use just a little bit of earthquake putty that you put on top of the wooden square and then you press your bottle on top of it. It's not gonna fall off now. Hector's going to set our first light. This is a medium half dome. The reason we've chose a medium half dome is so that it will not be too large, giving us the black around the sides to wrap into the right and left of the bottle. This will do two things for us. It will become the background light, which will give us a nice line to outline. It will also become the light coming through the bottle to give us a nice glow inside the bottle. Let's take a shot and see what it looks like. That's excellent. We see a nice black line right and left. We see a nice glow inside the bottle. Moving the backlight closer or further away causes the black line on the side of the bottle to get larger or smaller. For this shot, we want that black line to be small so that there's a really nice glow inside the bottle. Okay, we're going to add our next light. For our key light, we turned a medium strip box on its side. Now that 18 inches becomes the highlight on the bottle but the long surface face of the soft box becomes a fill light. Our fill light is a small strip box. Its purpose is to light the top of the neck of the bottle on camera left side and again open up the label. We don't want a huge light in there to overwhelm the bottle but just give us a nice rim to the left. The last light we're going to add is a large fill card on camera left side. This purpose of this card is to give us a little bit of highlight on the left side the label is very metallic, so we need a little reflection in that label so it comes alive and is not quite so dark. This will also give us just a little brightness on the left side and finish that label off so it looks very good. The next thing we need to add is mist on our bottle to make it look a little more fresh, like it's just cold, came out of the cooler. To do that, we're going to add 50% glycerin with 50% water, mix that together, then we're going to spritz our bottle. Now, if you use a small spritzer like this, it's going to be very small drops. It's going to be very fine, and that may be something you like. But if you use a little larger spritzer like this, or like a cleaner bottle, then that's going to make much larger drops, and it can be a little stronger. So you just have to decide which one you like. I'm going to go with a little larger, because I kind of like that look. And we're going to spritz it down and see what we get. We've taken several shots of the bottle with moisture on them. They're all a little different. We'll select the one we like the best. That bottle then will be composited into the hand of our talent. Just keep those cameras clicking. And here we go, Rocket Fizz! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Rocket Fizz! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm right through the scene with.